just came back from uh, European Snow Gi in Rome Open. So I was there for some days, for some days before, some days after, and I made some, yeah, met some very nice, nice people there. And I knew, I knew the the main instructor, that Federico Tizi, that top, one of the guys that uh, started the. He spread so much the word of jiu-jitsu in uh, in Italy. So. I have a big admiration for him and I look up to him a lot because he does a great work in the whole Italy, he has so many academies. So it's his group, Tribe, Tribe BJJ. So basically I have four academies in, in Rome, north, south, east and west. I was in the North Academy. It was super nice, everybody was so great, so nice. It's a very nice location, a house. So so to have a couple of days there focusing and just training in a house with some of those people and had some seminars. So I had like a couple of days there before the tournament. Then I met everybody from Norway uh, at the tournament in, in by the coast, right? It's not in the Rome, in the city of Rome. So it's a little bit outside to the coast. And uh, it was very nice. Everybody fought. Uh, fought uh, hard and uh, the results like some good results some some okay results I think that uh, the level is getting better people are more hunger for the on the competition so you have more more challenge more and more challenge every time that you go there and uh, it was nice to see Nick uh, who, who owns frontline drumming here one of my partners here and one of my best training partner and and a very good friend of mine here in Ori one of the guys that uh, pushed me most here uh, we were fighting the same weight class, actually, by one year we, we closed the uh, European no Gi uh, in the same weight class and he gave me the victory in the final. He didn't want to, to, to have a match and he didn't accept my, the medal from me, so I ended up having, getting the, the medals, but I had to thank him, thank him for, for that title. So it was really nice to see everybody fighting hard, it was very inspiring again, as, as always. Some busy days and I also had the chance to step out there again and compete. Right, I didn't. I think that I. I felt good there. I felt, you know, I think I felt. It's hard to say. I lost my my match in the in the gi competition uh, against Bradley Hill. Bradley Hill and like really good, um, really good competitor from Braulio and Victor Stima Academy. I think he trains mostly Braulio, but uh, has this like a uh, really good game with the 50-50 and attacking the feet there. And I got lost in his game and. Uh, he was best on that day. It was a good experience. I, I felt good. The training's the training's feeling good. I, I finished the match. Didn't even feel almost didn't feel that I was fighting, you know. So because my condition is getting better, I need to know how to use this a little bit better too. Then everybody made weight. I made weight well. And in the tournament, I had uh, in the in the no gear Europeans no gear. I went all the way to the semifinal, and uh, I lost the semifinal to Darigo Cono that was having. They had a really good, uh, really good day there on that Sunday, and like I, we know each other, we fought before, we've been competing before. Uh, another guy that I look up to a lot, uh, I admire his work he does in Ireland. And I mean, I see that when people try to, people that come and and work with jiu-jitsu in, in in these places, right? For me, I'm, I was very spoiled to come from Rio, the the the, the place that. Uh, was, yeah, for me, it was always normal. See how people have to struggle, kind of struggle and work hard to have some quality jiu-jitsu, right? He's a very good competitor. And again, he was best on the Sunday. Uh, he flipped him right, right on the right on the beginning of the match. And then he and then he ended up on the bottom again. I don't remember. I think we had two, three sets uh, from stand-up. And he pulled guard, and I couldn't pass his guard. I was trying to, to go for my for my guillotines and he's really good defending the guillotines. I know that's his game, so I was, I was hesitating to, to catch. And I got, um, yeah, he has a, had a very good tactic and I couldn't pass his guard in the end. And he, he went up with the victory, went to the final. And uh, I, I, I consider him as a, as, a, as a good friend. And, and he didn't compete on Saturday from with the gi because he had some personal problems. And uh, I saw that he was really sad. And uh, we were talking, I said, man, let's go, man, put your head up. and. Let's have a good match and a good, good, uh, good time on Sunday, right? And he was talking, oh, that I respect you. I said, thank you very much. I know that you respect me. I don't need to say this. The best thing for you to show me respect is to fart harder with me out there, you know. And, and that's what happened. And now I regret that I said this to him <laughs> because he was, uh, it was, it was a hard match. But I was happy too. Felt good. The conditioning was good. Felt strong and everything. Fair enough. Couldn't pass his guard. Just gonna go back here in the mat and work harder. As I've seen, it's always a good experience to see 
the, the team fighting, right? It was nice to see the guys from uh, Odebrew competing, the guys from some some guys from Bergen and Voss doing very good uh, competition. And then, uh, of course, you always see things that you can that you can work on. Yeah, I'm ready to keep working on that and and get ready for next for next challenges. That's it.